three U.S. swimmers punched their tickets to the Olympics Monday as the U.S. swimming trials continued in Omaha, Nebraska. 22-year-old Christine Magnuson of Tinley Park, Tennessee claimed the bid in the 100-meter butterfly, posting a time of 58.11 seconds. In the men's 100-meter breaststroke final, world record holder and Olympic gold medalist Brendan Hansen cruised to victory, but was almost a full second off his record pace. The swimmer getting the most attention Monday was one who set a world record a day earlier. Baltimore teen Katie Hoff surged to victory in the women's 400-meter freestyle, becoming the first U.S. swimmer of these trials to secure Olympic spots in two races. It feels great, you know, there's two nights in a row. I think it's a tough thing mentally and physically, and um, I feel, feel good about it, and tomorrow I get to do some 200. Sometimes you got to break a world record to make the team, sometimes you don't. Obviously tonight I didn't have to, but uh, to finally have that berth and, and be going to Beijing and, and have that solidified. Feels pretty good. I was hurting a little bit, but you got to keep your stroke together and stay calm and just push towards the end. So that's what I tried to do. Meanwhile, the star of the swimming world, Michael Phelps, celebrated his 23rd birthday with a light day of competition on Monday. He posted the second best time in the men's 200 meter freestyle semifinals one day after setting the world record in the 400 meter individual medley. You know, just being able to have, a, you know, have the opportunity to swim you know, in a meet like this, with the, with the kind of intensity that you have throughout the whole meet and every event, it's fun. Phelps will have another chance to snap a world record and pick up yet another bid to the Beijing Games when he competes in the 200 meter men's freestyle finals on Tuesday night. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Omaha, Nebraska.